Hey guys, it's Andy from Tinker Crate, and today I'm going to show you how to build our motor kit. Here, check this out. These are all the materials you get with your kit, and then you'll also need some scissors from home. The first thing we're going to do is make the coil for our motor. For this you'll need your two clear spool pieces, your coil magnet wire, sandpaper, and your scissors. Take your two clear spool pieces and snap them together so the notches line up. Take your magnet wire and slip it into one of the notches on your spool. Make sure you leave at least three inches sticking out. Then you can start winding your wire around your spool. Wrap the wire 10 times around the spool and then take your wire and notch it on the other side of the spool. Then use your scissors to cut the wire leaving at least three inches sticking out. Push one end of the wire through the circular hole then pull it tight on the other side. Do this one more time and then repeat on the other side. Then take your scissors and snip the ends so they're about one inch long. Finally, we're gonna sand off the coating. Now this part is very important. You wanna make sure you're sanding the top of the wire only, not the side. And you wanna make sure you're sanding the top on both sides. When you're done sanding, there's no red left on the top of your wire. It should be completely copper colored. Awesome job, we are done with our coil. Now we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna move on to the battery pack. You will need your alligator clips, your battery pack, and your AA batteries. First thing you wanna do is take your AA batteries and put them in the battery pack. Now remember you wanna put the flat or negative side against the spring. Next you wanna take an alligator clip, clip it onto the battery pack leads. Then take your other alligator clip, clip it to the other lead. Make sure you're clipping onto the metal part, not the plastic. Next, you're gonna to put together your motor base. For this, you'll need the base plate, two long wall pieces, and two short pieces. Take your two long wall pieces and slot them into your base. Then take the short pieces and slot them on top of the long pieces. And now, it's time to put everything together. Take one of your aluminum plates, line up the score mark with the edge of the table, then press down one side so that you make a 90 degree angle. And then use your sticky foam to attach the two plates to your base. Make sure the notches are facing up. Use sticky foam to attach your magnet to the center rectangle. Place your battery pack into the little box. Make sure the alligator clips are sticking out of the sides. Then put your lid on and attach each alligator clip to one of the aluminum plates. Take your beads and slide one on each end of your coil. This will help keep your coil centered as it spins. Place your coil into the notches on the aluminum plates. Give it a little spin. When you put your coil onto your base, electricity starts flowing through it. This generates a magnetic field, which pushes against the magnetic field from the magnet. This is what causes your motor to spin. Congratulations, you just made an electric motor. If your motor doesn't start spinning right away, don't despair. There are a few easy checks you can do that'll get it up and running. Make sure your alligator clips are snugly attached to the metal and then also to the aluminum plates. Make sure that your aluminum plates aren't squeezing on your coil. If they're squeezing, they won't be able to spin. You also need to make sure that all the red coating is scraped off just the top of the wire. If you scrape the bottoms as well, or if there's red left, it won't work. Try adjusting the wire ends on your spool. The more balanced your coil is, the faster it's gonna spin. You can use your motor to animate your tokens. Pop your spool apart and then put a tinker token in the smaller half. Then put the two halves of your spool back together. You'll notice that each side of the tinker token is different. You spin it, two images combine. Every tinker token is different, so be sure to try each new one out. Make sure you always unhook your motor after you're done using it so it doesn't overheat. You can either do that by taking the coil off or unclipping one of the alligator clips. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to subscribe for other awesome science and engineering projects. Check out tinkercrate.com for more cool kits like this, and I'll see you next time. Keep tinkering.